Today we will discuss one very simple JavaScript tip. Like we have defined one object and we are trying to print this in a considered log. Sometimes this template syntax is very helpful to construct our user defined methods. But if you try to print this object inside the template syntax, then it will print object object. Or sometimes if you try to retype this you know, string representation of it, it will be completely meaningless information, it will be displayed. So in few cases, we like a better, well-represented string information. So to achieve that, there is a very neat way to do that. For example, in different programming languages, like for example, Java or Python, we have similar different flavor of it. So inside any object, we can define a two-string method. Inside this two-string method, we can return any string. So whenever we're trying to concatenate with a string with this object or we want to log the using console.log, so this custom string, two-string method, whatever we are returning, will get printed. And inside this two-string method, we can access the member key and value using the this.name. Okay? So now let's uh, see that example real quick. So whenever we are trying to, you know, print using the console.log, this backtick symbol with this template syntax is very helpful to give a name which object we are printing, but it is not very meaningful, like object object is printing. So we would like some better, you know, control about that uh, message what we want to display. So in this case, like for example, once we give a two string, like to it, this is a our user defined object will be printed right name and propol so this is up to entirely us whether we want to print this uh, bracket notation curly bracket or square bracket or we want to customize something other way so it is all up to us but then we can definitely customize and we can get a meaningful console log, log information hope you like today have a good day ahead bye bye